give it up four. but is it give it up four or give it up two four four hey guys give it up four two four two four <laughs> It's J R and J K. Enjoy. Enjoy. Last time she introduced herself by just mentioning the J O Y. J O Y. That was amazing right there. And we are doing the first episode of the J Zone. The J Zone. The J Zone. It's not like cause like our name starts with the J's, which is pretty obvious. Yeah, and it awesome. is. Right and awesome, right? Mm-hmm. But it is more of it's more of the J that is in our zone, which is G. Ooh, yes. yes, hallelujah. Yes, guys, so welcome to today's first episode. And we're gonna start this on a very high note. The coded segment. Uh-huh. We believe in the Bible. Give me a soundtrack right there. Uh-huh. And we believe that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in the 66 books of the Holy Bible that is from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation and the in-betweens, you know. Um, no Maccabees. No, we don't. No books of wisdom. No, nothing like that. But we believe in the wisdom of Solomon. That goes without saying, right? Mm-hmm. The Bible like uh, just forms the foundations of our faith and our our ministry, which is called the 66. And that's very important. The point is that we believe in the word of God. That's why our ministry is called Code 66. And that makes us people of faith. Mm-hmm. And I think that's very central to every single thing that we do. Every single day, we live by faith, not by sight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is very important for people to get right there. Yep. For us, it has been real. Uh, we have lived by faith before. We are still living by faith and not by sight. Yes. From the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. Yes. The entire chapter is it's really amazing. Uh, the different accounts in the Bible from the book of Genesis yes. of where faith has been seen yes. before. Yeah. You know, in the journey uh, of the children of Israel. Yeah. yeah. Most, most of the time, people say, you know what faith faith comes in place in the new testament well if that is true then who's abraham again according to the bible father of faith father of faith oh wow wow so the father of faith Ooh. is in the old testament but yes. then faith is born in the new testament yes it's beyond faith the nine months yeah what, so what, what are you talking about a child right now being born <laughs> uh because the father of faith so faith child. is a child so, so you so... definitely have to <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm I'm using my poetic <laughs> license right now, okay. so right, uh, you don't try this at home, please. Yeah. Uh, some things are just reserved for nutheads. Mm-hmm. Uh, by nuthead, you know I mean this other dude because me I have an afro. He has the nutties, you know nuthead, nutty. I'm what? so good that, at this. That is how anyway, yeah, so, uh, that's a genius of you. Yeah, clap for yourself. Okay, that's enough. That's yeah. <laughs> so living by faith is a very core factor even in the ministry. Code yes. 66. Mm-hmm. The first two events, uh, the first one we did on uh, 5th of May and the next one you're doing on September 1st yes. they all work out by faith man yeah, they, the there the is day. no point <laughs> we only came up with a with a theme yes and the date yeah. and that is just that anything that happens after that that is by faith and we know everything will align itself according to God's will and also to give you the foundation by which we are built on without this segment Yes. Well, it's only logical to use faith as a subject. Yes, true. Yeah. For this, I'd like us to go berserk a bit. Let's think. Uh, Learn with the Jason. Right? Yeah. Oh, let's let's that? let's think about the different. I'm tr- I'm trying to to go through this, please. <laughs> <laughs> so that this is not about you. Our, about listeners, Jesus. our listeners have to know that these words come out of my mouth regularly. It is a regular thing. I wake up and say them. <laughs> I wake up and say onomatopoeia. I just <laughs> <laughs> so without faith. <laughs> anyway, without faith, without faith, it would be really hard to go through our daily, daily, daily activities. You know, going to school, which is the most basic, going to school is an act of faith because you are literally putting some a couple of years, like twelve years of your life, into an institution with the faith that you'll get out with some knowledge that will help you acquire some job. You're not sure about the system. You're not sure. In fact, you have no 
cognitive sense at that moment yes. to even judge a system because you haven't learned how to even to, to take judge a judgment you see so um that is by faith people walk through day to day by faith you yeah. sleep at night and you tell people good night see you in the morning really? faith, you sure you sure i'm not sure you sure you're gonna show up tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> you're not sure you want to s- okay yeah. not if you want to see them but are you sure you're gonna see them yeah you, you are, see you, you fall asleep okay. and you say you know what i'll do this tomorrow yeah. listen that is why people you need to listen to me yes. if you get me my peanuts i eat them all before the next day please yes if you, you get me know. my ice cream in fact i have a craving for cream bell uh strawberry now wow. you know uh, the rest of the guys here are cool but you need yeah. ice, cream. ice cream so moving on swiftly yes without faith yes. without faith it would be really hard yes. to believe in something you need faith even atheists need faith in not having faith you yes. know you need to have faith in yourself enough to say that you don't have faith yes. uh, that is else. being faithful to yourself yes uh, so and your ideologies <laughs> and your own ideologies yes. that is why sometime last week i put up a design and i said commitment is tied to dependency yes. it requires it requires unwavering faith yes. to be truly faithful yes. i don't know you need a, i just said this and it was flowing out of my mouth in fact i am done you people get my point <laughs> Okay. You, you can read the scripture, please. Yeah. I'm done with explaining, and people get it. <laughs> They already get it. Read the scripture. Yeah. So John 15:45, abide in me, and I in you. Yes. As the branch cannot bear fruit itself except ye abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. Hey, KJV, hey. Na I'm the vine. <laughs> <laughs> ye are the branches. Yes. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing 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 <laughs> nothing <laughs> 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 yeah exactly that just summarizes what JK has said in the context of like without faith our society would be anywhere right now you know this is like centrally without the faith in Jesus Christ you True. know even he himself said listen guys like without me you guys are done with like you guys you're are not, nothing you're you're not, nothing okay <laughs> so yeah that is just it that's just the truth of the matter you may not like how it sounds but that's the truth of the matter mm-hmm. I mean look at the things that are happening right now even in our school system and that brings us to our oh. next segment current yep yes yep look at the burning of the schools that is happening and by you know our society right now i mean kenya specifically because this is where we coming from this is our home right you know students are burning schools i don't know why like why you do burn a school you get so angry with the teacher you burn a school Yeah, food is horrible you burn the square i mean like burn the kitchen not the <laughs> Only by the old school. <laughs> There was a time in primary school we got so angry that I think the science teacher and we wanted to go burn our washrooms. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! I know. Oh, I love I know. Okay, you know what? <laughs> When you're thinking about it, it was totally logical until we stopped. We're like, guys, okay, relax, guys, okay. Why would we burn our own washroom? Over. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like yo dude i'm, dude, I'm pressed, I'm pressed. Can, can i can i go to the loop no no we burned it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but the things that are happening right now can only show you because i mean if if somebody has faith you know that the system will be okay or even they have faith that they themselves can change the system mm-hmm. i don't think that they can bring themselves to the position where they start burning schools i think that is totally you know it's illogical like yeah. walter from scorpion had said that's illogical Why did you have to He is currently watching Scorpion. This is on what now? Season 4. 4. 4. Season yes. Four. And talking of current affairs again. So our neighbor you Uganda right Uji. here. We have the man. Um, <laughs> Uganda. <laughs> yeah, Uganda. The Uganda. The people of Uganda. The somebody uh, in that seat from mm-hmm. Uganda. So the guy is not exiting soon. You know, initially the law required presidential aspirants in Uganda to be under the age of 75. Now, <laughs> initially the law would have barred Museveni uh, from running for presidency. Hey. In the next general election, in Uganda which is set to be held in 2021. However, the court averted Ugandan MPs attempts to extend their terms of office. Okay, this is what happened. <laughs> so there were two laws, okay? Uh, one was for the MPs that they wanted to extend their term. That one was thrown out. But the president <laughs> was totally accepted. 
Here to stay. Like test of video nataka. Vile ni unafeel. Jia chini. Jibole. Ni 7 is just himu self. Mimi ni self. I think also this is really central in our in our in our culture even even like in the bible you remember the story of Saul mm-hmm. you know it got to a point where God wanted to like replace the dude mm-hmm. and the dude was like what you going to replace me this guy I'm like what I'm going nowhere you know until it got so bad that the guy had to like commit suicide see you know he had to kill himself in battle you know just because I think power gets you to to like a drunken state where you don't want to let it go mm-hmm. especially if you're somebody who thinks your whole purpose is that Mm-hmm. I mean look at the United States after two terms like you can't run again okay so that's just it but in our african i don't even know what to say about this Ooh. this this totally embarrassing for us so i don't want to dwell on the negatives <laughs> <laughs> and to make it worse things are still happening around here the, we saw on the news the other day i don't, don't know if you saw it joy yeah, uh there. man this is so sick <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I don't even know why this is Wait, happening. How, how does this even start? I, I, exactly. I have no Apparently sometime last week yeah. but one there was a case yes. uh, there was a case mm-hmm. in Malava that is in western western part of Kenya. Uh, mm-hmm. western part of Kenya and uh, there apparently there's two uh, a lady and a gent. Um uh, I'm I'm calling them by their respectful names. <laughs> but if I would uh, say the They're truth They're not respectful. Uh, they I mean, if I would this? say the truth I'd be like there is this boy and a girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> boy girl. Yeah, who thought you know what? Um bro, you are my bro and you are my sis but now nah, I love you too much yeah. for you to be my sister and my brother yeah. so i'm thinking they're in the house and they've started living together i saw this meme that it was like a short clip a skit from a guy on, from facebook and he was saying and um, the girlfriend accidentally called him by his name and he was like wait what <laughs> You call me Joseph. You don't care to call me Joseph. You call me babe, darling, honey, sweetheart. You don't call me by my name. In fact, from this day onwards, I baptize myself. I'm babe. You call me babe. So I'm thinking they're in the house and um, this brother and sister and they had decided the names is be sweetheart you know and then the 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 the, the lady forgets and she's like uh, bro uh, <laughs> ah, no <laughs> hey <that happened. laughs> uh, bro oh, man. Uh, uh, hey sis you pick up you know <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe let's fast forward to when they get kids yeah. and and they, they've never called each other you know bro and sis they call each other babe mm-hmm. but then when it comes to explaining to the child who yeah. the other part, person is yeah. they they forget and it, say it, it uncle, father, uncle, uncle, <laughs> uncle 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 Uh, uncle? No, no, no. I, I mean, daddy, daddy, <laughs> papa. <laughs> that is But, totally, this is completely messed up. Mm-hmm. Like, what, how? Okay, so you I know, I, I think most of the time the reason why the Bible even says something should not happen. We, we have a doctor in the studio. Mm, Dokotela, yeah, throaty Dokotela. bones. <laughs> <laughs> She can tell us what that means. Oh. Well, yes, just three that, that's that's well, deep, she, that's she didn't deep. have a stethoscope yeah. with her. I just said stethoscope. Yeah, we, we I, had it. Yeah, stethoscope. Uh, <laughs> what? What? Moving on simply. <laughs> the medical consequences of this is like very serious because like people are related who get kids you know it the, it's, there's a very high chance the kids are going to have like you know a deformity in one way or another yeah, physical the, deformity let me say that negative yes. bit of their genes is yes. more amplified yeah because you bring in like uh let's take the example of albinism yes so probably uh the boy has a recessive gene for albinism yes. then the lady yeah. albinism recessive yeah. gene yeah. so probably at some point mm. this two recessive genes will combine and become one yes and before you know it yeah I so it. like the say the negative bit of the genetic part of the family is more amplified when family members yeah yeah marry so and it's this, crazy and, how? and i think this is why the elders took a step and just <laughs> 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 they beat the ideology out of these two oh, kids like yes, they, were, they were whipped they were whipped properly and cast massively like literally cast sisi ta sisi talani yao sisi talani yao hata watoto yao utakuwa kama yao tu yao utakuwa kama wao yatakuwa na tabia mabaya kama yao sisi malani yao oh oh okay all right i'm <laughs> 
Uh, I have uh, one for a transition uh, last week that was just think on Thursday uh, Nairobi and there were demolitions of some kiosks that were going on and this dude out of all the things that you can save in your kiosk uh, he was at Mamamboga near alikuwa na pick up with all and he was like you know what if this is going down not uh, with my ugali uh, yeah. so <laughs> he <laughs> got to the kitchen did you see, did you see the size of that ugali yeah. like uh, that, that was big, big. Ugali. ugali I know I know <laughs> ugali I know the ugali. guy I know the guy got in the house and was like Okay, this is too big. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello. Zekta. <laughs> Victor. Niko na kaukali hapa. Ni mboka tu mbarikiwa. Si utafuta mboka. So, uh, the dude is still on the move. Yeah. That is why I said it's a beautiful transition yeah, because we we get to swerve <laughs> on to the next uh, segment just with this guy on the move. Yeah. So, as we move on, pretend he's walking across your screen or your earphones <laughs> from one year to the next one. Next one. Yes. Uh, and today's episode we on music we've got some true great music this was released when exactly we have you say from Lauren Daigle it's a beautiful song from uh, her new album that uh, is yet to be released sometime yeah. in October it's a beautiful song like two weeks ago is when she released it and then uh, around the same time is when my favorite people um, for king and country yeah. uh, had released pioneer those guys are cool man yeah they are they're doing an album with their wives that is so beautiful so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah for king and country really they did they, they had done pioneer yeah. pioneers is just amazing beautiful yeah you, you should, should check, check it out, out on, I, I, on youtube right? yeah on youtube yeah. I, i like i like the motion the yeah. motion the visual, the visual works is just amazing the video that is slow mo and um, fast forward and slow mo yeah. and beautiful and sing and not at the same yes. time it yeah. is just beautiful yeah. so last week uh, they did another song the video they've yes. done the song before but they did the video only god knows yeah. man yeah. that yeah. song bana god only knows god only god. knows <laughs> only god knows <laughs> what you just confused the name of the song god only knows yeah. god only knows god only knows why i confused the name of the song <laughs> <laughs> that's why the song had to come yeah. it's a beautiful song also check it out it speaks about about a lot of things and yeah. also gives and carry i i like for king and carry because they like their set of music and their niche of music is is encouraging and yeah. and full of the word of god also at the same time so it's just beautiful music but uh there is there is also a more spiritual angle to it mm, it addresses the issues of pain and struggle and the fact that only god knows and understands them yeah those things yeah, yeah. and is yeah that that is the beautiful part about uh, musica we have the most crooked part about musica well, <laughs> only god knows <laughs> If, when it gets to music you people should be listening to me because hey My I don't blame you <laughs> <laughs> yes now we want to keep it a hundred a hundred keeping it 100 we just going to keep it 100 right here so our sister uh, Christina Shusho is a gospel <laughs> musician <laughs> from Tanzania <laughs> from Tanzania uh who is just amazing she's been amazing all through i think she's like kept her how do you call it a niche of like like the way she sings Except so for one, far for that one song she did with Rington which was just out there but <laughs> but there is no way mentioning this right now so one of her popular songs is uh unanifanya ningare very beautiful In which fact, talks about christ yes. making you you know Shine. Shine, you know, like, like, you know, light of the world, you know, yes. you know, so, so, like, she did this, and this was amazing, and the song was amazing. But now, recently, something <laughs> else happened. There's a twist of <laughs> events right there. So we are like channel surfing, you know, during news, and um, oh, that's what it's called. Yeah, channel, channel surfing. surfing. Yeah, channel surfing. Oh, wow. Yeah, and wow. I'm not even bragging about it. But we we're channel surfing with with bro here, and then we we're like, wait, what do you just see? Can you take it to the previous channel? And she was there singing. The song replaced the name Jesus. Be united. Be united as a bank. <laughs> yes, a bank. But what was interesting to me was that she literally replaced the whole song, which was a gospel song dedicated to Jesus, 
and now replace it with the bank. Mm. And now she was like, Unanifanyaniga. <laughs> Unanifanyaniga. 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 Uliweka siju miaka 25. Nikaweka akiba. Nimenunu wa nyumba. Niko na Unitas. Unitas. Oh, please. Listen. If you're doing a song for the Lord, you are a creative. Yeah. There is nobody who has... Nani akona shida na wei? If you use your creative mind mm-hmm. to write something that is for the bank An that is not for the bank that was for the church whatever yeah. you wrote was for the church and then you took something that was for the church and you just sold it to the bank the you know how illogical even that sounds yeah. selling it to the bank <laughs> oh my so lord jesus. actually just threw jesus under the bus and sold, oh my sold god. him out to a bank like cash that in all right but i think for me the spiritual aspect of this you know when the bible says like uh, the vessels you know the vessels in the house of god should be consecrated created for the house of God mm. and like they should not be uh, you know put outside there to yes. any other mm-hmm. thing you know so I, I think if she would have been more wiser if she could have wrote something, something else for the different. bank not took Jesus out literally ripped Jesus out <laughs> the south. you know I think you know that is just we, okay we're just keeping it 100 okay that is just it that was yep. completely out there that was completely out there. and no we are not supporting that. you for no. me I knew you with that song and then you ruined your uh, forte in my in my <laughs> mind. Uh, in yeah. fact, yes, I deleted the songs that I knew you did. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know what you're going to pull next. <laughs> you're going to replace all You are going to replace the what? song with something else what? and you start supporting something at which I don't know what it is. Yes. So, yeah. for me, it's a no-go zone and I'm not supporting that. Yes. I am very, very, very close to music myself. Yeah. And music was not happy with that. She came to me and she was heartbroken. <laughs> and she was saying to me that she looked at you and she was like, um, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. How so, can you yeah. do this to me? <laughs> It's not you. It's me. It's me. <laughs> yeah, they're just giving it a hundred right my there. Heart. So I don't know if Christian Shusho can get this podcast, but if she can, but she will. Listen, 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 uh, sis. We really love you. You are amazing. You have an amazing voice. Please, the person who I don't know if is it your manager, fire the dude. Okay. <laughs> literally fire the dude okay and yeah do something about it do something about it i know some people have reached out to you so far yeah and uh, this also just addresses like in one way or another you know the decay in our society in our culture how we can mm-hmm. literally shift even our it's like like uh, us ourselves you know we can shift directions anytime you know this salvation that's what the bible says that we need to work our salvation with fear and trembling mm-hmm. you know and like look at ourselves if we be in the faith yep. yeah yeah so and plus the decay in society and culture is not because of our outward actions yes. but inward decay of our hearts yes. yeah. and the lasting solution would only be yes. the change of heart brought only by the work of the cross the through God. Jesus Christ hallelujah yes. actually if you, if you don't believe anybody in this podcast that is between me and JK like believe her she's a doctor <laughs> <laughs> feedback so far we've not gotten so much feedback because i think this is still growing yeah. but yeah we've, we've had people shout us out like you guys are doing amazing thing we can't wait for you guys all you now all those things amazing things flowery things but, us also, really awesome. but also for the feedback Bert. i i know i know some people here yes and listen, I know you people very well. You are you and listening. You are, you are listening. <laughs> and you're probably listening to me right now. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm seeing your mind, your brain. Mm. <laughs> That's creepy, dude. That's creepy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't do that. I don't believe in that. So listen, this is what, this is what you're, you're planning to do. Yes. I saw this this week. Yes. You are waiting until we do this for a couple of more episodes. And then you realize that it is serious. Yes. <laughs> And then uh, you're going to wait for a couple of more episodes. Yeah. And then when you're done after the first season, you'll be like, oh, man, so you guys are really serious. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, yeah, we are serious. And uh. they'll be like, so, wow, that is really good. Blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. Forte. And you know what you're going to say next? Forte. Yeah, it's just your forte. You're going to say next, yeah. well, Maringo, what was crazy Maringo? Wame just a Maringo. See you, alianza kufanya juzi, wame kwa famous YouTube. Wame just a Maringo. Oh, SoundCloud, you know, ask Oh, Steve. Teacher, listen, if you have to support somebody, support them support right them, now yes. mm. while they're starting. True. Mm. At least one thing cryptocurrency got real mm. is that you, when you're starting, they sell it at a very fair price. Yes. And then later on, when it's, it's huge, when yes. it's serious, <laughs> exactly. everybody, like, everybody
everybody rushing to it and then you can sell it to them at a million dollars mm-hmm. when you bought it at a penny. So take your time. If you're going to support us, do it right now. Tell us right now. Don't wait until we have already made it. At no. Pendi Chocha, by the way, Miss Pendi Chocha. Hakuna aja ni wadanganye. Me don't like Chocha. I don't go like Chocha. Chocha be know your thing, eh? You know about my thing, oh. So, um, for us, we'd like feedback, especially yeah, like on things like feedback. content, you know, yeah. the content that we're putting up. Is it helpful? Does, does yeah. it address anything that you have gone through or are experiencing? Or like, is Unitas making you... Is Unitas <laughs> making you... Nari. Nari. Like, are you Nari? <laughs> Are you Nari? Are you Nari? You know? Yeah. Do you like Ugali like that? Do you, do you feel him? Have you seen him anywhere around your area? Do you feel the vibe from our yeah. uh, himself? Are you feeling the vibe? <laughs> you know? The music. Yeah. You know, what kind of music would you like us to talk about mm-hmm. also? Mm-hmm. And also in the music a bit, I think we'll need to like demarcate it because we'll need to also t- talk about films and yeah, movies. Exactly, yeah. Talking about yeah. that, yeah. we, we are talk- not. No, no spoilers for your... No spoilers. Sorry. Yeah. So. Almost said it. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Somebody dies. <laughs> Somebody dies. You don't know who. <laughs> so left from yes. Left from dude. Yeah. Um, you guys, thank you for your feedback. Yes. We got your feedback. That was that was amazing. You see, for us, we shout out people. Yeah. Okay, we didn't literally shout them out, but I can shout them out. Yeah. Uh, you shouted you. Life, <laughs> life from I shout them out. <laughs> from I just did shout you out. So, <laughs> so mm. not only on Facebook, you can do that on YouTube. Stitcher. Stitcher. Yeah, we guys. are officially on Stitcher. Yeah, you don't even need to like to like download even the app. Of course, download the app, Stitcher app uh-huh. or the SoundCloud app, but you can literally listen to it online. Yep. Without even you like having even an account by the way. Mm-hmm. Just go code 66 uh the J zone. Yep. J zone. J underscore zone. Mm-hmm. You'll see you'll you see us. you'll see our logo yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Learn with the J zone. Last time you taught you taught us the French word for me, me which I didn't notice it's until I listened more. to the podcast myself. I was like, wait, she just said a word right there. I didn't moi. know that word. <laughs> moi? It's moi, not moi. moi. <laughs> yes. I'm going to teach you something today. Catch that. Something awesome about the New Testament, the credibility of the New Testament. So allow me just read this one out. <clears throat> Because like we just brought it because it's a lot of data that... Dude, that... they are not watching you. You can read it and just pretend like it's coming from the <laughs> like top of your head. No, no, no. Okay, yeah. Uh, so like the New Testament has been preserved in more manuscripts than any other ancient work. Having over 5,800 complete or fragmented Greek manuscripts, 10,000 Latin manuscripts, 9,300 manuscripts in various other ancient languages. Okay, do you know how specific that is and how amazing that is? Beautiful. Including Syriac, Slavic, Gothic. Gothic is a language, by the way. Ooh, JK. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Man. Ethiopic. <laughs> Ethiopic. <laughs> <laughs> Coptic and Armenian. The dates of this manuscript range from oldest copy of John's fragment to the introduction of the printing in German in the 15th century. Like all that while. Almost all biblical scholars agree that the New Testament documents were all written before the close of the first century. That is so close to to the actual events of the crucifixion, the life of Jesus and the ministry. I mean, if Jesus was crucified in AD 30, then what, what that means, the entire New Testament was completed within 70 years. Nice. This is important because it means there were plenty of people around then where the New Testament documents were pinned. People could have contested the writings. In other words, if you write something right now about him himself, who? <laughs> Literally, if, if exactly if it is a lie, people are going to say, oh, no, 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 actually, no, that's yeah. not true, all right? Mm-hmm. So that's how close the New Testament manuscripts are. In other words, those who wrote the documents knew that if they were inaccurate, plenty of people would have pointed it out. We have absolutely no ancient document by the contemporary with the first century that contests the New Testament texts. No. In other words, if you're going to write something about our previous election, which is true, if at any point somebody wants to contest that and they have evidence, they can produce it. But if there's no evidence nobody has printed anything to dispute it that means wait dude you're right like the elections were rigged or they were not rigged but let me not get into that <laughs> okay <laughs> at the other end of the data pool are the quotations of the new testament by church fathers to date more than one million quotations of the new testament by the church fathers have been tabulated these fathers come from as early as the late first century all the way to the middle ages 
what I'm trying to say is trust the Bible. Mm-hmm. That's just it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that is how credible our scriptures are, and that's why this ministry is grounded in the 66 books of the Bible. It is because <clears throat> it is not only writings that are just there. We just believe in them for the sake of it, but they are incredibly, incredibly trustworthy because they can be, you know, followed back to the actual events, and nobody can dispute with it, except, of course, one to three people who have no idea what they're talking about, but they think they have idea what they're talking about. But of course, who are we? That's it. So Ooh. thank you so very much for joining us. Oh, did, did you know? Did you know he just uh, mentioned one of our members' name in um, thanking you guys. Thanks so much for joining. Us. <laughs> You just had to find it right there. Uh, 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 <laughs> do I get paid yes. to do this? But thank you, thank you guys uh, for joining us. Yes. I've been your host, JR. Joy. Joy comes in, in the, the morning. morning. Please learn with the Jason. Learn with the Jason. Right JK. Did you out. know that? Please. Oh, and for more. Boy. 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 <laughs> I have a new word for us today. Really? Okay. Yes. Alright. It's I, God. God in French is Dieu. Huh? D I E U. So you won't say my D, God, you D, say Mon Dieu. Mon Dieu. Yeah. Mon Dieu. Mon Dieu. Mon Dieu. No, no. Mon Dieu. Dieu. Okay. <laughs> he just find it for you. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So thank you guys for joining us. Join us next week on Monday. So like we have episodes on Monday, every single Monday, and bonus episodes on Friday. I have been your host, JR, and the Jason is out. <laughs> <laughs> ah.